Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. I got this paracord here, 100 feet. I got it at Walmart. I got uh, the tape measure laid out there. I'm going to cut two strips of 10 feet of this paracord and then five strips or six strips uh, running this way. And I'm going to try to make my own cargo net. Uh, I did one last night at just regular string. Where do I have it? left it in my room back here there we go this is my first attempt I made last night I did it on the floor and uh, turned out pretty good for my very first attempt so I'm going to cut out these pieces first and then I'll video it as I go along I've got to figure out somewhere to hang this uh, rope Okay, I cut out uh, one strip of 10 feet here of cordage and then I folded it in half and cut off five foot strips because I'm going to need uh, one long st strip for the top and one for the bottom. And then I cut out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight 10 foot strips of cordage here that I'm going to use to make the netting and I got an extra strip up here. It's not actually 10 feet long, it's about, I don't know, 9 foot, 7 and a half inches. So I'll just keep that as a spare. Anyways, I'll use this as the, uh, the netting for the middle and those two strips for the top. And then you're left over with this plastic thing here that you could use to wind up other wire or string or whatever. Okay, I got all my strands ready. I got the uh, tips of each one melted, the lighter. And then I got it hanging up here in the wall, the top string. I have it attached here for the nail. And this is melted so that it won't slide through. So I can start hanging this one. I got it pinched in between the door. So I can start hanging the strings down to make the net. So I'm going to start on that and uh, this will be my second attempt. This time I'm using the uh, paracord here. Or whatever this string is called, I'm not quite sure. Okay, the name of this rope was Diamond Braided Rope. It's a quarter inch and it's 100 feet long. 6 millimeter by 30.5 millimeter. It's got a 901 pound load strength, 41 kilograms. And here's what I have done so far. I got it up on my wall. Those are 10 foot straps each. You have to double it up because I want at least maybe four and a half, five foot wide. So there you have it. It sags in the middle a little bit there. Depends on how this one turns out. And then I'll set up maybe some kind of proper thing to hang the cord. But it's how far I've gotten so far. Okay, I got a couple of rows or two rows, one, two. I'm starting to look like a net now. Or like a large string creature. Continue down. I end up having to nail it. The door wasn't holding it, so I nailed it right there. Stretched across and I nailed it over here too. So I will continue. But it's looking pretty cool now and uh, kind of fun to make. Okay, I finished my cargo net. Got the approval of my cat. There it is, all done. Didn't take very long, took breaks now and then. But uh, all the videos I've seen on YouTube, i never seen one where somebody shows you how to finish the bottom part, so I had to figure out myself. I got another piece of rope like this. And I ran it through, tied it in a knot here. Then I melted the cord on the end. Then I tied it in a knot right here. I melted the cord in the end here. And then I tied it here. Um, tied it here, tied it here, tied it here, tied it here. And then uh, I melted all these where I got knots over here. Because the, sh the short, the cord was short, I didn't have enough. So it ended here. So I tied it in a knot and then I melted it really good so it doesn't slide back and forth it's really strong and then this last 
diamond net here. The cord was too short, so I tied it in a knot here, and then I melted the pieces together here, and I tried to pull it apart with pliers, and I put a screwdriver on here and tried to pry it apart. It won't come apart. And then I melted the ends here. So there you have it. My first attempt at the cargo net with this type of cordage. I made one last night out of string. Uh, this one's pretty easy, but it would definitely be a lot easier if you have it hanging than trying to do it on the floor like I did the last one on the floor. So let me uh, get this off the wall and throw it on the floor. Okay, I got it all done now. I got it stretched out on the floor here. Cargo net. It's five foot. I haven't measured it that way yet. But, uh, where's the tape measure? Just get a rough idea. Three foot. It's like five foot by three foot wide. And, uh, for the top of my truck, the whole cargo down on the top. I just got to get some uh, those plastic clips and put them on the corners here. And then I have a nice cargo net for the top of my roof of my truck. Like I said, it's my first attempt. I'm still, you know, learning how to do this. I got to get some paracord because this I thought was paracord, but it's not. I got this at Walmart. It's a different kind of cordage. Because I want to make a cargo net that has no knots, like I have in my truck already on the inside. But there you have it. Five foot by three foot cargo net. Handmade. I'm going to get going.